Today, we're going to be attempting to beat the Lich boss in Balloons Tower Defense 6 with the random projectiles mod. So, let's see if we can win with completely random projectiles. Well, here it is, the Grave Lord himself. The Lich has been resurrected, and we're not going to do Elite Mode. I feel like that will be a bit difficult. We're going to do the normal first. And yeah, I think we have to go all the way to around 140, which is just ridiculous. Like, we're going to have to find some really, really good towers if we want to have a chance to win this. And yeah, we are definitely going to have to find some sort of tower that gets us money. That is definitely going to be the most important thing to do in this video. And I have a few ideas, but actually this is a pretty good start. I believe, is that the Ultra Juggernaut projectile already on the Ninja? But we're going to go for a Dart Monkey as well. And actually these haven't been bad projectiles so far. This is shooting out fire. I'm actually going to set this to last. So hopefully we can pop these rounds even quick. And you can see here, there are some graves right there. I, I hope they're not monkeys that have been killed by the Lich. Hopefully not. But yeah, I'm super excited. 32 rounds away. We're going to have to find some really good upgrades. Anyway, let's go for the quick shot. Okay, that's not very good. Let's go for the very quick shot. I mean, Ninja Shuriken is all right. It's kind of funny because it stole the projectile. And then the ninja stole the projectile from the dart monkey. Let's actually go for the triple shot. And that looks amazing. Oh, is that shooting like out like the ice balls or something? That's really, really cool. But it's not that much popping power. We need more popping power. Okay, that isn't more popping power. But that is making us money. And that is one of the most important things in this challenge. And it looks like, oh my god, it's actually making us so much money. We've already made $10,000 from this Dark Monkey already. And we still, okay, we've already got 29 rounds until the Lich appears. But definitely with this money, we're going to be able to find some really, really good upgrades. So let's go for the Super Monkey. Of course, the Super Monkey shoots really, really fast. And it looks like this is actually freezing every single balloon in place. Like, look at that. That is kind of weird. Like, no balloons are getting past there. It kind of is popping them a bit slowly. But still, I don't know what projectile that is. We've now got a Dartling Gun Dark Monkey, which actually it shoots three of them at once. So this is going to be doing some pretty good damage to all the balloons. And I think it is time to go for the Dartling Gun. Because this is one of the best towers in the randomized projectile mod. Because of course, it shoots really fast. And you can aim it wherever you want to. And okay, I take it back. That is absolutely terrible. It's shooting out the tag shooter projectile. Let's go for the faster swivel. Actually, that's not bad at all. That's actually getting some decent pops. Let's go for the powerful darts. Why? I swear to God, every time I do this type of video, we get the stupid grapes that are on fire. Like... It's what a oh wow. Oh, wow. Okay. I think we just found our OP tower for this first Lich boss. Oh my god. Wait, do we have camera detection? Oh no. Do you see what I mean? Look, we can't detect the camera. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to get a village. I mean, we have to get a village, right? Okay. So let's get the village. We'll get the radar scanner. And can we actually... No, is it not in range? Oh no, I think I just found something even more OP than the Sun God. Look at this. I can aim wherever I want to. I could literally draw with these sentries. This is so funny. Okay, and that's actually pretty decent as well. Because, I mean, sentries don't have bad popping power at all. Before I tried to draw high up there, it actually kind of looks like it. Oh my god, it actually really looks like it. But anyway, we got six rounds until the Lich boss. And I'm thinking we should probably go for another tower, right? So, let's go for the boomerang just in the range of the village right there. Oh, Whoa, whoa. That is shooting explosions right there. That actually looks pretty good. I think it may be the mortar explosion. Well, the Lich is about to come on screen and I am super excited if our defense is actually good enough for it. And there it is. My first look at the Lich boss and it looks like it only has 14,000 health. And oh my God, it looks absolutely amazing. Look at this thing. We are actually damaging it pretty well. And oh no, is this setting up like a shockwave or something? I hope that's not destroying my towers or anything, but it looks like we are going to get it down to the skull face. And actually... I might get some more towers over here because that thing is kind of scary. Look. Oh, wait. What is that? What is it shooting out? That is so terrifying. And it's leaking my lives as well. Did you see that? Are we going to actually be able to pop that thing? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. We need to. Okay. It pops. I don't know what that was. Guys, we're going to go for a fast firing sniper and hope this does some good damage because this lich boss is terrifying me. We've only done one of the skull phases. Even though we have this dartling, which I thought would do a lot more damage, it is not doing that much damage. Well, it looks like the sniper is shooting out the boomerang and that's definitely not good enough and okay that is much better look at this it is shooting out the spike mines and unfortunately it is not shooting out the special mines like the super mines the fifth tier but that is still awesome look at the track that looks absolutely oh no oh no there's a moab right there and the sniper is missing it how was the sniper missing the moab so much but that looks insanely cool look at all of the mines all over the screen and it looks like we are taking this lich boss down it is much closer than i thought it would be like seriously oh no that's a four to find Moab right there. We need to get some more defense, guys. Like, we actually need to get some more defense. Can we please get some more defense over here? There we go. Let's go for a Dart Monkey and hope it does something. Okay, yeah, it's the Darling Gun one. And oh, no. 
Okay, we just about popped it. We really need to find some better defense, guys. Oh, no. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a ninja right here. And we're just going to go all the way for the balloon jitsu ninja. Because the balloon jitsu shoots really fast. And it should do a lot of damage. And it looks like the lich boss is nearing the end. You can see it only has one skull left. But yeah, those four to five mobs were pretty terrifying. Okay, it's kind of turned green right there. I'm going to speed this up. And hopefully, we are going to be able to take down the first phase. But of course... There are multiple phases, and the next one is appearing in 15 rounds. Okay, on round 60, probably along with the BFB as well. But yeah, this sniper is amazing. That put in some serious work right there. Well, we're going to sell the sniper for now. We really need to find a way to make more money. So we're going to go for the tag chain. Oh, no way. Are you kidding? As soon as I was saying that, dude, it's making $87, but it shoots up multiple times. So we're making so much money. You know what? This is the new farming strat, guys. This is the new meta farming strat. What we're going to do is we're just going to spam zero, zero tag shooters. And it's going to make us so much money. We're going to be able to afford literally anything. Like, look at my money go up. We are getting so much. Okay, that is kind of scary, though. Four to five mobs. Okay, what's this one again? It's the 2-2. Two, two. Okay, we definitely need to get another one of these startling guns because this is actually doing some pretty decent some damage. We're going to go for another boomerang monkey here. I definitely feel like it has potential to be really good. And what is it doing right here? Okay, that is actually shooting out. If you can see, it's kind of hard to see, but it's shooting out the Sun God projectile as well. But we don't want the Sun God projectile. We want something that actually does a ton of damage. And oh my God, seriously. Are you kidding me? Just bananas? I mean, we already have these tag shooters, which has made us $200,000 already. That is actually insane. Let's go for the turbo charge right there. Well, we just found another tower that shoots out the spike balls, but it is much better than the sniper because this thing will We'll actually hit the mobs as you can see and wow it is so fast because of course it is the perma charge and we only have six rounds until the next lich so yeah i think we will be able to defeat it with this because this thing is shooting so fast and the spike balls are actually decent look at this it is handling all of the ceramics by itself well the next boss balloon is appearing in one round and as you can see i have spammed a whole bunch more of these tag shooters so that we can farm even more. And I'm feeling really confident about our defense this time. Actually, we nearly have a million dollars. And look at this, how much money we are making. And okay, as soon as it gets in range of the Bionic Boomer, I feel like we are going to be doing some serious damage. Like, look at this thing. This is going up fast. But this balloon has 52,000 health. That is so much. Okay, I should probably get some more defense this side. Because as you can see, oh no, they're getting through. Guys, we're going to go for a Druid because of course it has lots of thorns and stuff. And... Oh my, no, you can't be serious. You cannot be serious. That is shooting up the super mines. Wait, can we just put a, a druid right here and just deal with this right now? Like, oh, look at this. Look how much damage we're doing. Oh my God, that is ridiculous. Guys, we're literally taking it down a skull every single time the druid shoots. Like, that is actually insane. Like, look at this druid. As soon as it shoots, down nearly a skull. Oh my god. Okay, this must be like the best zero zero tower I've ever gotten in this series. And we were literally, we I, I don't think we were going to die because we could have got some other towers. But that is insane. We just popped the tier two. And now the tier three is appearing in 18 rounds. And yeah, this is just going to get more and more difficult. But we have found some good towers and we have so much money now. Okay, the zero zero glue gunner is ridiculous. As you can see, it is shooting out the more of mines. But look at his pop camera right there it is going up by like 200 every single time it explodes and i sold all the tag shooters because we have two million dollars i'm pretty sure that is going to be enough well i just bought the super monkey and it looks like i mean it can see the camera balloons but <laughs> what is it doing it is just shooting them back i think it just has like unlimited knockback or something that's kind of funny oh if we send it to camos it could literally just send every look it is sending nearly every single balloon back that is hilarious i wonder what projectile it's actually doing right there but we could kind of cause a region farm so maybe we should upgrade this thing again so let's get rid of that let's go for the dark knight wait 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 is that the perm spike is that the perm spike no way okay i'm glad i sold it because literally that would destroy <laughs> that would destroy every single balloon look at that oh my okay apart from the leads apparently it doesn't have lead detection but that is ridiculous wait what upgrade with that that is that's insane we just got the perm spike okay let's go for that again let's i just want to see this again yeah look at that <laughs> I'm pretty sure that is the fifth tier Palmer spike right there from the Super Monkey. That can pop so much stuff. Of course, it doesn't have the lead detection, but if I got an MIB here so it can pop every balloon type, like, that would destroy everything. Well, I guess now we just sit here and we let that pile of perma spikes just pop everything. Look at that. More of ceramics. It does not matter. It is popping absolutely. Okay, a BFB. Is it going to be fine against the BFB? Oh, my God. It just popped a BFB. And that tower was only there for a second. And it is popping everything. Well, we have one round left until the third boss appears. And as you can see, I kind of spawned a bunch more of these perma spikes. Because I just wanted to see how much damage they could actually do to the Lich. Of course. 
course, if it has lead balloon properties, they probably won't be able to pop it. But still, yeah, we are destroying round 79, which has a bunch of fortifies. And whoa, oh, wow, this has 245,000 health. Are you kidding me? Okay, we might actually need to get this back. Like, we might actually need to get this back because this is insane. As you can see, we are doing good damage to it. But this thing has so much more health. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go for the Dark Knight again. We're just going to let it do Parma Spikes. And as you can see, it is going to spawn so many. And um, whoa, it's kind of going see through that. That is kind of weird. I don't think it's done that before. But as you can see, instantly nearly, it went to the second damage phase. And I'm just going to sell that because this Lich is just on a pile of these Perma Spikes. And as you can see, we are doing so much damage to it. Like instantly, as soon as it comes out, we are absolutely annihilating it. And this is the tier three. I think we only have the tier four and the tier five to go. So I am super excited to see if we can actually beat the tier three because nearly all of our towers are just zero, zero towers. Like we've got the zero, zero super monkey, the druid, the ninja, like they were doing so much stuff and the glue gunner as well. It's amazing. Yep. And it looks like the tier three lich is about to go down. There we go. That was pretty easy. I mean, of course it is easy if you have a super monkey that literally shoots out the perma spikes. So let's sell that. And I think it is time to look for some more OP towers. This may be an absolute waste of money, but I think I'm going to go straight for the temple right here. I just want to see what it does. And we actually have enough money for the true Sungle temple as well. Anyway, okay, this is doing absolutely nothing. Like, look at this 978 pops. It is not getting any pops. It is just following around the balloons. You should not be doing that. Anyway, let's get the true Sungle temple. Now, what is this thing going to do? Like, surely it's going to shoot out something really... Are you kidding me? Oh my god, are you kidding me? Look at this! The true Sun God Temple is making me so much money! Okay, I'm actually gonna put a farmer down. Like, I'm legitimately gonna put a farmer down. I'm gonna buy a farmer. There we go. Let's put the farmer down. And how much money? Can we? I mean, it's kind of cool. It's not actually popping anything. But to be fair, it could have been worse. And it's pretty cool that it's making me this much money. But I don't need money. I have over one and a half million dollars. So this temple... It is pretty useless. Well, it looks like we have a cluster bomb ninja right here. And that is really, really cool. Because as you can see, it is shredding these mobs and BFBs right now. Actually, I, this may be a tower that I keep. Because this thing is doing some serious damage. Well, we have a ZOMG here. And obviously, we're, we're going to be fine against the ZOMG. But I'm thinking we should actually go for the taxon right here. Because of course, it... Oh, wow. That looks amazing. Like, look at the map right now. That looks so cool. Oh my god, I love it. Okay, guys, I have officially found the most broken tower I have ever found in this series. Look at this. The primary expertise, tax zone. This thing can literally not be stopped. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't believe it. Look at these BFBs. Look at those BFBs. Okay, so the fourth tier of the Lich is coming in 12 rounds, right? Around 100. Is it even going to be able to survive? Like, just look at this. This thing is insane. Oh my god. I have never found something quite like this. Like, this is broken on another level. Well, the Lich Balloon is coming in four rounds, but look at this druid. This is the luckiest druid I have ever gotten. In fact, this must be the luckiest run I have ever gotten because it is shooting out multiple fifth tier mad missiles at the same time. And this thing, like... How is anything going to get past this defense? Like, it's coming in four rounds. It's going to have a ton of health, but it doesn't even matter. Our defense is just way too good at this point. Well, we got some fortified DDTs on this round. And here, oh, wow, 525,000 health. Oh, my God. And this is the fourth tier. Okay, I can't wait to see. Wait, is it stuck? Why is it stuck? Why is it not moving? Okay, this is kind of weird. Have I glitched it or something? It is literally not moving there. Okay, well, I mean, it can just... Wait, it's not even getting damaged. Have I glitched the game or something? <laughs> no. Okay, so I restarted it and it looks like, yeah, that was a glitch. I mean, I don't know what to expect because I haven't played the Lich before. But yeah, it was definitely glitched. But now it isn't. And as you can see, it doesn't really matter because <laughs> look at this tank shooter. It is getting so many pops. It is insane. And it looks just really cool on the screen as well. Like, look at that. One of these projectiles would probably be enough. But it is shooting out like 20 or 30 or 40 at once. And as you can see, the fourth tier of the Lich does not stand a chance against this defense. And it is going to get absolutely destroyed. It just looks so satisfying. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, definitely subscribe because I'm going to be doing content like this nearly every day. And of course, let's try and hit like 2,000 likes video. That would be really, really amazing. And there we go. The tier four has been popped. So I guess it doesn't go up to round 140 like I was saying. Uh, I guess it's round 120 is the fifth tier. But yeah, so I guess we're going to go all the way to the fifth tier and try and win with this defense because I don't think there is any way that we can lose at this point. 
Okay, this is actually kind of cool. I was trying to get the temple again, but I found the lightning temple. And of course, this isn't going to do that much damage, but it's still a pretty neat tower. Well, we just found a bomb tower that shoots literal planes. That is actually kind of cool. And as you can see, oh, wow, this bomb shooter is actually getting so many pops from these planes. That is actually insane. Look at this bomb shooter go. It just keeps on spawning these planes. And actually, that might be a problem because as you can see, my screen is kind of getting insane right now. I hope if we sell this, it will disappear because, oh my God, it is getting so many pops and it keeps going higher and higher. And look at the planes on my screen. Oh my God, <laughs> there are so many planes. I think we're just going to keep it for a bit longer. We've only got 10 rounds until the tier 5 Lich comes. And I think we're going to absolutely destroy it. But that is so cool with all the planes. And there we go. The most powerful true sun god temple of all time. No, I'm just kidding. But it's still pretty cool to see it like shooting all those crays. Unfortunately, it isn't going to be doing anything against the Lich. But we do have our whole other defense to deal with it. So I think we're going to be okay. Three rounds to go, and the balloons have barely got on the other half of the map. Like, this has definitely been one of the luckiest runs in this challenge. Two rounds! We are so close, and as you can see, this tempo is so funny. It is doing absolutely nothing, but I just want to have it against the final boss, because I think it's really cool. But yeah, so unless this thing has, like, a billion health, I'm pretty sure we're going to be fine. There is the Babylon, and as you can see, <laughs> this tempo is so funny, and how quickly does this tag shoot to destroy it? And the answer is, oh, actually, there are multiple Babylons. Of course, it is not round 100. That is why there are multiple Babylons. But there we go. This is the final Lich right there. And as you can see, yeah, <laughs> oh my god. 2,100,000 health. Are you kidding me? That is definitely a step up. But I think this tag shooter should be able to solo it, right? Unless it does like some crazy things, we should be good, right? I'm kind of scared actually because this thing has so much health. But as you can see, we are doing some good damage. And it is, I think it's fast in the balloon areas. I don't know. Maybe it's not. But it definitely seems pretty fast to me. And it looks Looks like we are going to be able to destroy it slowly. It's down to the second skull. It's got four. No, it's got three more skulls remaining. We've got only two skulls remaining until we defeat the tier five of the Lich Balloon. And as you can see, we've gone past round 120. It is taking a while to kill this boss balloon. But as you can see, only one skull left. And very, very shortly, I think it is going to be taken down. Definitely the best tower. Actually, I feel like the Druid. Yeah, nearly two million pops. Definitely the tag shooter is the best. But the Druid was really cool. As well as the Glue Gunner and the Temple. Basically, every tower I put down was absolutely amazing. It looks like it is about to die right there. It's on the very last of its health. And it looks like we are going to destroy the Tier 5 Lich. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That was a really, really fun video. Video. looks like we won and yeah i will see you guys in the next video okay we do need to pop this round as i was saying i will see you guys in the next video and i hope you have an amazing day peace